while back, I glued these two pieces of paper together, Michael, and I'd like you to tear them apart. Okay. Go ahead, just keep going. See how strong the glue was? Uh -huh. The paper tore before the glue gave way. And I made that glue myself, you right did. here in this very kitchen. How'd you do that? Out of skim milk. Skim milk. Yes, most people don't realize there are solids in milk. That's one of the reasons why you drink it, to get the protein. I and see. I have some cooking over here in the stove. Okay. Uh, do you know the poem, Little Miss Muffet? Yeah. Okay, would you recite it for me, please? Okay. Little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet, eating her curds and ways along. Came, came a spider and sat down beside her. And, and frightened. frightened Miss, little Miss Muffet away. All right. Now, what was she eating? Curds and whey. Curds and whey. Have you ever seen curds and whey? No. Well, we're going to make some. Here's some vinegar, and I have warm skim milk, about two cups or so. Pour a little in there, and I'll stir it for you. Okay. Oh, that's enough. Let's see if that'll do it. What's it? Oh, it's Okay, that's enough. It's Keep stirring it. Okay. She ate this? Yep. That's what she was eating. I'll pour a little more in just to make sure that we... She actually what? ate this? Yes, yeah, she actually ate... Th those are the curds. Mm -hmm. You know when milk sours, it's curdles? Uh-huh. Okay, well, that's what you just did. And what's left behind is the whey. Okay, I'll turn the stove off and bring, bring that over here to this uh, bowl and pour it in here so we can separate the curds from the whey. Just go ahead and pour it in the sieve. That kind of stinks. Well, that's because of the vinegar. That's disgusting. Why? Why would she eat but, that? Well, put it back on the stove over there, wait. As a matter of fact, was she you hungry or something? Yeah, she was hungry, but you've probably eaten some of it yourself. Mm. Because if you make this in a slightly different way, that protein becomes cottage cheese. Oh, I see. Well, I don't like cottage you cheese. You don't like cottage cheese. Okay. Now we, we put acid in there. Now we want to neutralize the acid. So here, put a little sodium bicarbonate in there and mix it. How much? Oh, half a tablespoon and stir it all up. It's foamy. Why? Well, that's, that's probably the chemical reaction. Right, between the vinegar and the baking uh -huh. soda. Okay, now let's say we want blue glue. All you have to do is add... Some food a, coloring. A little food coloring. Ooh, that's uh, more than a little. So if someday you run out of glue and you've got some skim milk around the house, you can certainly make very strong glue. In fact, some of the white glue that you buy in a bottle is, called, is casein glue because it's really very strong. And they've used the same kind of casein, which is what that protein is called, uh, to make buttons and various other artificial things. So let's glue uh, some pieces together. Here, okay. put a little blue glue in the middle of that. Boy, we made a mess. Oh, well. Clean I'll it clean up it. later. Yeah. Give it a good pounding. And there's the kind of glue you can make. And here, when you let it dry, it turns out like this. Go ahead, tear it and see. That is very strong. Yeah, very strong glue out of skim milk. 